when we were a, a young couple just married, we had very little money. I was going to school full time, did not have a job. Christy had a part time job and uh, we started tithing. Uh, we'd just gotten married, so we started tithing as a couple. It was really our first um, step out in faith as a married couple was to give together in obedience. You know, those early days when there's $60 in the checking account and that's it, you, set, you tell yourself, hey, we go God at least six of this, you know, maybe more, probably all of it. You know, it was just amazing what God began to do once we started doing that, we started to, uh, you know, receive blessings from Him, uh, just uh, bonuses that, uh, you know, we weren't expecting to get or a refund check. We were never without. Uh, we had uh, vehicle problems, we had all things come our way, and there was always plenty of money to meet the needs. We never were deficient. And so even though if you had times where you just felt like we can't afford to tithe, the, the bigger overwhelming idea was you can't afford not to tithe. I mean, all the money's God's anyway, so so it's not like I'm really giving something that's mine. It's just that I'm giving back to Him to allow Him to, to use it for, for His glory. He has provided and provided more than we could have ever dreamed. The joy in following and being obedient has been indescribable. And then when we hear of a need, it's just the freedom to be able to meet that need mm -hmm. has been so great and it's just fun. You get to really assess your financial priorities. Where is my money going? How does that change the kingdom? How does that change the world? How does that change me? It's no longer whether we are going to give. It's, you know, whether cable is most important or cell phones are most important or what um, dinner out. The church has cast a vision for where where we're headed. The leadership has seized a direction, seized needs in the community that, that need to be met. And we have an opportunity to be a part of that. Really exciting to know that we can reach more people for Christ. And I look at our own lives and, and how God has grown us as a family and how He's touched us and, and brought us closer to Him. And it's going to enable uh, more people to have that same experience. And uh, why wouldn't we want that? I look forward with great anticipation to the expansion program of our church uh, and I continue to grow in our own lives in the lives of our church family. So we, it, it is true that as you sow, you will reap. You, you reap what you sow. What you put in the ground is what you get back. What you give to God it allows Him to bless you. And you just have to have a heart that's ready to receive that blessing. And one of the best ways to prepare yourself to be ready to receive that blessing is to be generous.